What's up, Transformers fans? Welcome back to another episode of Transformers Spotlight, a web series that gives me a reason to take my figures off the shelf. So today, we will be taking a look at none other than the Transformers Studio Series 86 Blur. Now, this guy isn't one of my favorite figures, but he's definitely not my least favorite. Um, I've had this guy for a little while now. I actually have two copies. I say I, you know, I say he's not my favorite yet. I have two copies. The first copy was um, the one I have down there at the very bottom. Uh, I have him paired up with his Target Master, and this one I recently acquired in a previous video, uh, just displayed with the other 86 characters. So, um, to be honest, I really like this transformation. I like both modes, but. He's still not my favorite, but like I said, he's not the worst either. I think my least favorite thing about this figure is that right there, and just how easy it can be moved. But other than that, that's pretty much all I, you know, that's all nitpicks I just have. So, um, so there we can see Blur in his robot mode. He is wielding his two accessories he comes with. So, I really like the coloration on this guy. This one in particular is pretty dusty so <laughs> who whoever owned this guy did not mess with him uh, a whole lot same thing with me i'm probably not going to mess with this guy too much more after this video so we will go ahead and remove his accessories and uh, this figure has been around for quite some time i think he was one of the first 86 figures after uh, jazz I can't remember which uh, number this one is exactly, but he does have a really fun transformation. The articulation is pretty decent, but um, my favorite version of, of this particular mold would have to be DevCon. Um, sorry, Blur. <laughs> but in universe, he's an awesome character. I love his ability to like run really fast. He's like the Flash, except he's annoying. I, I don't like his, his voice, how it's just as fast as he himself. So I, I think that's the main thing about the character that I just don't like. Maybe the only thing I don't like about the character. But I'm not an 80s kid. Unfortunately, I wish I grew up in the 80s to have more of an appreciation for G1. But I think some folks even back then thought his voice was pretty silly. But we will go ahead and move on to the transformation. It's pretty simple. Uh, there's like one step that I always skip because it's really unnecessary and that being folding this piece up and around to cover his hand. And you got this panel right here that you're supposed to just completely lift up out of the way, but that's pretty unnecessary. It kind of just does it by itself just a little bit. Pop that back into place. Now this figure I really, really have not transformed in a while, so bear with me. So untab that. Okay, you got to move the foot first. Untab that, swing that around, swing this around, flip that around, tab the legs together. Now this one has a solid connection, like a really solid connection. So I'm trying not to break anything. Come on, Blur, work with me. He won't because I said he's not my favorite. <laughs> ah, there we go. There we go. So you want to take, let's see, take the arms, flip them down just like so. Take the backpack, loosen it up like this, and I about drop them. Rotate the chest piece around and this piece is a little bit tricky I don't have fingernails there we go you gotta flip that down that way his chest looks like that take the front of the hover car straighten that out take these pieces flip them down trying not to pop them off because these pieces pop off pretty easy so you got that and then you want to Flip these pieces around. I think. Okay, now you're supposed to flip those around. Get the feet out of the way. Flip them down. 
stabbing his feetums into place. Just like that. You can hear that nice solid click. There we go. There we go. And there we go. Okay. So lastly, we just need to position his arms properly. I'm going to rotate here at the bicep. No, actually, you need to rotate at the wrist, not the bicep. I knew I would mess something up. The question is, what? What would I mess up? Tap that into place. Rotate this arm around. Rotate at the wrist, just like that. Get that nice and tabbed in and secure, making sure everything is nice and squozing and the seat fell down. Come on, stay up. There we go. And there you go. There you have Studio Series 86 Deluxe Class Blur in his futuristic hovercraft slash car mode. And I will say, this car mode is awesome. Um, just, just the overall shape and design of the car, I like better than Hot Rod. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, I like Hot Rod's coloration a lot better. But uh, design-wise for the car, I, I kind of like uh, this a little bit more. Um, I like the, uh, the boosters on the back, just like that. You know, uh, of course, he's more of a hover car than anything else. There's no wheels, there's no tires, no nothing. His feet, of course, are used to just, you know, sit on to something. But for a hover car, like a like an 80s designed hover car, this is pretty cool. You know, it's very streamlined. It's meant to go fast. Question is, is he faster in alt mode or is he faster in robot mode? You never know. But I think he's faster than robot mode. Or faster in robot mode, I should say. But no, I, I really like this design. Uh, he's got that open cockpit look. So, it makes you wonder. If there were ever any, you know, drivers or anything in there, if he had, you know, if Blur had anybody in the seats, he has to slow down. Otherwise, otherwise their face will get ripped off. <laughs> but yeah. There is his vehicle mode. So we will go ahead and transform him back into robot mode. I'm going to un untab the arms, pull them away, just like that. Rotate at the wrist, just like that. Rotate at the wrist. Untab the feet. Get these panels out of the way. Rotate these pieces around. They are nice and secure. Like the connections are so secure it worries the heck out of me. So flip these down next. You want to separate here at the legs. Take this piece, rotate that, rotate that around if I can talk today. Tab that in. Put the foot down. Just like that. And the legs are all done. Flip down the seat. Take the, uh, I'm going to call it the nose cone because it looks like a nose cone. So, you know, I prefer calling it a nose cone than I do the front bumper. So, rotate the nose cone down just like that. Get these armatures out of the way. That way you can rotate these, tabbing them into place just like that. Then you want to click the backpack into place. Just like that. Take the arms, click those into place, rotate the arms down. Do the same thing for the other side. And take the forearm kibble, flip it around. And one last step, you're going to rotate the chest piece around. And there you go. There you have Blur back in his robot mode. And I understand that these pieces, yes, they are annoying. They won't stay. I understand that it is accurate, but not this big. But, I mean, it's a toy. What are you going to do? So, 
all in all, I really like this figure. Uh, it, it really co completes the set. But it's not my favorite figure, like I said. Um, it's a joy to transform every once in a while. But if I want to transform this mold, I just prefer messing with DevCon. So, sorry, Blair. <laughs> so, yeah. There is Studio Series 86 Blur. So, that will pretty much do it for today's video. If you liked it, leave a like, leave a comment, and if you enjoy content like this, be sure to hit that subscribe button. But until next time, thank you very much for watching, and I'll talk to you later.